Hi, Derek Johnson with Tatango.com here. Recently at Tatango, we've been talking a lot about RCS business messaging. And essentially, RCS is a rich communication channel that has the potential to replace text messaging because it allows brands to send multiple images, videos, buttons, allows them to track things that they couldn't before in a text message. It's going to be pretty cool for marketers. But a lot of questions about what happens if Apple does not adopt the RCS standard. So why are we receiving these questions? Well, Android uh, has adopted the RCS standard. So all new Android phones will eventually have RCS messaging installed in their messaging app. So that's good news. But then Apple has not come out and said they're going to adopt it or they're not going to adopt it. They haven't said anything yet. So what happens though if Apple comes up with their own standard or they don't adopt any standard, they just continue to allow text messages to be sent you know, to those phones? Let me explain how that would look. And again, we don't know if Apple is going to or not, so this is kind of a hypothetical. So in that case, if Apple does not adopt the RCS standard, this would mean that there would have to be two different experiences built by brands for their customers depending on what standard the customer is using. So for example, let's say you are a customer and you're interacting with a text messaging chat bot. And let's say I'm on Apple. Well, the, the software provider would have to be smart enough to know that, oh hey, this phone is a non-RCS enabled phone, so let's send them the non-RCS enabled experience. And then let's say my friend is on an Android phone and they do have RCS enabled, then the software provider would click on and say, oh, this is an RCS enabled phone, we'll send the RCS enabled response and experience back to that customer. So it is going to uh, require that the software provider and the brand really build uh, two different types of experiences for their customers. On the mass text messaging side, the same thing. If you have, let's say, 5 million subscribers, you're going to have to send some subscribers a non-RCS uh, experience and then some subscribers a RCS experience. Again, that will be on the software provider's uh, side to do that, to build the technology that will allow them to do that. And then it also will uh, require that the brand build out two different experiences for their customers. So while that's not ideal because you got to build out two different experiences, it's not the end of the world to be honest. So who knows whether Apple will or will not adopt the RCS standard, but I think RCS is definitely here to stay on the Android side. So I think if Apple for some reason does not adopt the RCS standard, it doesn't mean that RCS is going to go away or not become as popular. I think it will uh, be popular, especially with marketers because it's offering stuff that you cannot do uh, with sending a text message. So if Apple does not uh, adopt the RCS standard, I think most uh, brands will just need to create two different experiences for the two different kinds of customers that they have.